Four massive steel pylons are sunk into the floor of the North Sea. They're going to be the legs of the Brave Turn. Their movement is controlled from the bridge. Second officer Piotr Piekutowski and Captain Tony Cato are intensely focused. Okay, we've got two meters to find position. A load of more than 20,000 tons is being put in place, centimeter by centimeter. It's a special moment even for an experienced seaman. We are slowly going up and uh, we are expecting to have 4.3 meters penetration at that location where the water depth is uh, 40 meters. All this uh, operation will take approximately three hours before we're gonna reach our working uh, air gap, which will be approximately 13 meters. The Brave Turn is now a stable platform. It's been jacked up, as they call it. Piotr Piekutowski is not yet permitted to jack up a ship. But if he wants to become a captain on an installation ship, he'll have to learn how. Like his boss, Englishman Tony Cato. Cato has been in the offshore business for five years. After we've jacked up, we can remain in position throughout any, pretty much any weather conditions we can survive what we would call a 50-year storm, i.e. the worst weather you would expect in 50 years. So even if a, a 10-metre wave rolls on past, we'll be high enough out of the water that it won't be a problem to us. Now the installation workers get to work. They want to take advantage of the lack of wind. Tower parts one, two and three. On top of the towers go the turbine housings. Meanwhile on deck, the night shift workers have just got up. They take over in an hour. René Frixel is on the night shift. He was a Bundeswehr soldier for four years, then underwent additional training. He felt drawn to the North Sea, like everyone else who works here. What I like is the 14-14 rhythm. Working for 14 days, then 14 days off. You can plan things at home. You know you'll be home in 14 days and you can organize your appointments around this schedule. And you know that in 14 days you'll be back on the job. Everyone here says they earn a lot more than in their old jobs on land. But none of them are permitted to reveal details on camera. But it's not a trade secret that room and board on the ship are free. Cooking is Bogdan Taton's job. Today we serve Schnitzel Gordon Bleu. Bogdan works alone. On deck, René Frixel begins his grueling 12-hour workday, picking up where the day shift left off. The crane carefully lifts the 100-ton carbon fiber rotor. René and four colleagues use special cables to position it without bumping. René has helped build 40 offshore wind turbines. He prefers working in the tower to being on deck. The huge constructions have to be bolted together, but today others have done it. But he does show us some of his tools. This is a 90 centimeter wrench. I think it weighs about eight kilos. Turning it is hard work. So we use it in rotation. You couldn't do it all alone. And that's why not many women work in this business. It's physically very demanding. Well, some women do work on the brave turn. Nothing here would function without the stewardesses. They make sure everyone on the vessel feels at home. More on that next week.